There's been a long tradition of cancer research here in Bradford. Uh, and I'd worked with uh, some of the pharmacologists here for many years before I came. Um, we published joint papers together and then the opportunity came to become director of a new institute of cancer therapeutics that they were setting up here. Um, and it was a, a, an opportunity that was too good to miss. Um, they built the institute that we're now sitting in as part of uh, the new direction they wanted the cancer group to go in. And I came in really to, to, to focus the, what the group of pharmacologists here did on in-house drug discovery. I brought some medicinal chemists with me and we set up essentially what we've got now, which is a department or a, an institute which uh, focuses on all elements of the drug discovery process from concept to clinic, as I like to say. Yes, the smart bomb is a name given to uh, a new type of agent, a drug, medicine, that is only active in the cancer and is not active in the rest of the body. And that's one of the goals of, of new medicines to treat cancer. If we can just, if we can focus the activity of the molecule so that it, it does no harm to, to normal tissues, then that would be a leap forward for a uh, type of cancer treatment. What's special about the smart bomb in particular is that it actually kills the vasculature, the, the blood vessels that supply the tumour. If you think about it, you know, a tumour like any other tissue requires nutrient to survive. The nutrients and oxygen are supplied via the blood vessels that actually the, the tumour has taken over from normal tissue. It encourages blood vessels from normal tissues to grow towards it. That's, what, that's how tumours survive. So if you destroy that blood supply, then you cut off the nutrient and the, and the tumour itself will die. I hope that the Bradford Crocus Cancer Appeal is very successful because cancer uh, is some, something that affects most of, most of humanity now. It's one of the second biggest killers. It has run for about 18 months. Uh, it took the form of many newspaper articles, uh, local events that uh, the Telegraph and Argus organised, that the university organised. There were uh, various uh, clubs such as the Rotary Club got involved. It was, just, it was just a phenomenal activity whereby students at the university, staff at the university, uh, the general public all got behind the appeal in a, a really very exceptional way. It was, it's been a, a wonderful experience for us at the Institute because it's been not just about the raising the money, but raising awareness of what we do at the Institute here at the University of Bradford uh, in, in cancer research, specifically what we do for the development of new cancer medicines. And I think it, it's true to say that the, the general public within the Bradford area you know, are much more aware now of, the, of, of our contribution than they were previous to the appeal. Indeed. I would say that we are unique in Yorkshire, that under one roof we have all the elements of the cancer drug discovery process, from drug design, from drug synthesis, understanding how drugs work in the body, how, and essentially how to formulate them, and in partnership with clinicians at, at the local hospitals and in Leeds, uh, the development of those molecules into a, a clinical environment.